Hey guys, happy new year or almost new year. I'm filming this on New Year's Eve, so I don't know when exactly I'll edit this and get this up. Maybe tonight, maybe not. What's in my makeup bag? Because this year is unlike any other where um, I actually have a makeup bag that I use when I put on makeup. So before, oops, before, if you've seen my updated bedroom tour in Brooklyn, which of course is not my bedroom anymore, but I had have the um, Anthropology Legacy Desk and that I used as my vanity. It's huge. I kind of put all my makeup, all my back stuff in there. Um, back stuff meaning like um, extras and stuff. When I moved home, I purged a lot of it. That desk uh, is one of the pieces that I did keep because I did sell a lot of stuff just because it would be easier to not put stuff in storage and just put it, um, you know, where it needs to go. And my sister was kind enough to let me store it in her garage. So that's where it is currently. I might sell it if um, the price is right. So if you're on Long Island and you wanted that vanity desk, it's in perfect condition um, aside from the knobs. Um, but that's a long winded story of me saying that now, um, you know, I do, I did keep a bunch of stuff. I got rid, I got rid of a lot of stuff, but the stuff that I use when I wear makeup, which is today, um, is in this bag and it fits in this bag. And that's basically it because I don't really need, um, a lot of stuff right now. I rarely wear makeup when I'm just at home doing nothing. If I'm going to the grocery store, rarely wear makeup, rarely wear my contacts. I mostly wear glasses. The one reason I do wear contacts is because masks and glasses are a pain in my butt. So I will wear, um, I will wear my contacts for that, but like putting on mascara is like, you know, why do it unless you're doing something, but filming videos or going, I don't know, feeling like you want to look normal, which is me sometimes, but not always. Um, so yeah. So I just wanted to show you what was in my bag. This bag is by Layla, Layla. Um, and this I got in Marrakesh last year, about a year ago. Yeah. So it is just like this nice terry cloth, like Moroccan style rug bag. It's nice and big. Um, I keep it in my bathroom or my bedroom and then I travel with it when I travel. Um, it would also be, this would probably be the stuff that I, the makeup that I would take with me if I was traveling somewhere. Maybe it would be a little different depending on where I was going, but this is like basically if I'm going to put on makeup, it's in this bag. So I'm just going to start pulling out stuff. First is the Origins Vita Zing SPF 15. This is a tinted moisturizer of sorts. It's not their tinted moisturizer, but um, it does um, adhere to like your skin tone. It's like one of those like magic products that like gives you a little color, but like if you were to squeeze it out of this, it would have no color. Um, I've used this for years. I've had many of these and it's usually what I use as a base or just as like a foundation because foundation and me like don't really get along super well just because most of it just sits on top of my skin. Um, I have drier skin so if I didn't just like exfoliate which I can't do all the time or my skin would like fall off um, but this just works really well for me. So I absolutely love this. I've talked about it before. I feel like I'll have it forever but um, this is my first step in my makeup routine. Next I'll put on sometimes a concealer and uh, I usually don't like to, if I'm going out, 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 like if it was a normal time, I might put on a different concealer and like set it with powder or something like that. But what I've been using lately is just this YSL Touche Clot, um, you guys know what this is. Pen, and this is just like in special packaging. It's nothing different. It's just like the first one, I think, or maybe the second one. It's the li lighter one that's used. You can use it under your eye. I did it today. Um, it just clicks up and you can just put it a little brightness. It doesn't cover a ton, but I don't really have super dark circles under my eye, so it, it works well for me. Okay, then this is sometimes I do it. I did do this today because I had some stuff going on in my forehead and like I do my mom's bathroom right there has like one of those mirrors that you could see every pore and every like nook and cranny on your face, which is horrible. But like I have like redness that's here. Um, and since I was in that mirror, I decided to put some Bare Minerals um, 
original SPF 15 foundation and I'm in the color medium. This is probably from last year, like around the holidays, they come out with a giant size. So this lasted me, I mean, I'm not using it all the time religiously, but there's a ton left in here. So I'll just powder some on um, problem areas or just all over my face. You guys have seen this before. I've, I used this forever ago and then I like went, was trying all these different foundations and then I was like, you know what? I go back to bare minerals. So I have been liking that. I apply it with my very old MAC 182 um, Kabuki brush, which needs to be cleaned, but I just sort of like buff that all over my face and then I keep this out to keep like blending stuff in. I also have the Bare Minerals and I've had this for a very long time. Um, I've had, I'm trying not to like buy multiple like bronzers until I finish all the bronzers that I have, that kind of thing. So this is the Bare Minerals Faux Tan and you just need the tiniest bit of this to like give a little bit of a glove. So I have it today on my nose and like I just kind of like brush it on my face a little bit to just give me some life back. Um, so like I don't really know how much is left in here because it's so dusty but I'll just like shake a little bit out, put a little bit on the brush and the brush that I've been using with it is the MAC 116. I don't know if these are um, brushes that are still made by MAC or not. Um, it's been too long for that, but this is the 116 brush. Um, I feel like this is good because I can con control where it goes. I used to just sort of use a giant brush and put, put bronzer like all over who knows where. Um, so I'll put some on and then I'll take the Kabuki brush again and buff it in all over my face so I don't have any harsh lines and then sometimes I even go with a tissue and like sort of like rub all over my face so I didn't like leave any streaks or stuff like that because I'm notorious for not rubbing in my makeup very well um, and my sister will call me on it but I've gotten better. Okay next uh, blush. This is a very old blush. I don't think they make this anymore but it's the NARS Du Sur and it is a nice dusty pink. Looks like that. It's very pretty. It's very subtle. It's on my cheeks today. Actually, it's not subtle. It's like just like a nice fall winter blush. So um, in the summer, it wasn't this blush that was in this bag. It was a different one. I think it was the Milani Luminous or Luminoso or something like that. Um, but I still apply all my blushes with my NARS, um, what is this called? Yachi brush. I think that's what it's called. Um, I'll put it down below, but it's like that brush that's like wrapped in this kind of wicker black brush. Um, I really love it. I feel like it puts your blush in really nice. It's held up really well for me over the years and I just kind of throw it around. I know I've heard some people's have unraveled, but knock on wood, mine has been great. All right, then to eyes, which I guess is really mostly last. Um, I also have this brush in here, but I think this is really just in here because my niece put it in there, but it's the MAC 134 brush. I don't really know what this brush is supposed to be for. Sometimes I'll like go like this, but like, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this brush. So if you know, tell me, um, but that's sitting in there as long as, as well as some bobby pins and some hair ties. And then for eyes, I always put on whether or not I'm going to wear eyeshadow it's usually not, but um, if I do, it's the one thing that's in here that I'll show you next. But I always will put on the Painterly Paint Pot, and um, this is by MAC, and uh, this is a very, you know, everybody I feel like has this paint pot, and it's perfect for my skin tone. It covers any, like, veins or stuff that might um, be on your eyelids or um, prevent any greasiness of your eyelids or stuff like that throughout the day. So I just prime my eyelids with this and then if I'm going to do nothing else, fine. Um, but if I'm going to do something else and I want a little color, uh, I've been using for, uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Marie Antoinette. I guess this is a, like, I mean it's similar to a paint pot. It's like a liquid gel, I guess gel eye um, shadow. So it looks like this. You can apply this with your fingers, which I have done before, but then my finger has like this um, bronzy stuff on it, which is fine. You can go wipe that off. But I've just been using this MAC brush. You know, this is not the same brush that I would use. Like I've had this brush in my collection for a long time, never really used it for anything. And it works really well with this shadow. It's not like a big fluffy 
um, eyeshadow brush that you'd be like do do do. Um, it's like more like I don't mind getting this stuff like caked in it and um, it just applies really nice. So this is the MAC. It's rubbed off but I'm gonna I want to say 253 but I don't know. So it's this brush and I think it is white. It doesn't look white right now because it's dirty but I just put that on just like for a wash of color and then if I am doing eyeliner, great. I haven't really worn eyeliner much at all. But this is very old too. Not too old that I should, maybe I should throw it out. But uh, it is the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner. Looks like that. Tip looks like this. Oops. Okay, and now I was interrupted by my sister, so I was on mascara, so um, I do curl my eyelashes, and I have used for years the Shu Amora eyelash curler, the regular one. Um, this used to be able to get at Sephora, no problem, um, but now, I don't know why, but I think you can only either get this from directly from Shu Amora, if you can. Um, but I've gotten my last few, like the last time I went to Japan, I bought a bunch from the, um, convenience store or the drugstore, the drugstore, and, um, brought them back from friends and family. And then like I bought extra ones for myself. Like I have one that's brand new and wrapped up, but you really just need the pads to replace in there. Um, but in Asia, they're like $10. So super cheap. Um, curl my eyelashes. And then I've been using the... Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara and when I was wearing this is what I'm wearing right now I'm not wearing eyeliner I'm wearing this and um, when I was wearing it my sister thought I did the cat eye um, but it does I really really like this mascara it's awesome um, the brush looks like this it's very cheap from Ulta I think I bought mine um, for under like three dollars I want to say they do they're usually like $4.99 but they do like buy one get one or you can use a coupon on it or something like that um so I've been really loving this and then I also use like another mascara to kind of go in between um I just feel like this helps for me like I'll do this mascara and then kind of like take a different one this is the NARS Climax and I'll just like do a coat of that and then maybe do another coat of this um so that's what I'm using right now. And then for brows, brows are new for me for this year for the first time like in my life ever. Uh, bangs that covered my eyebrows so I never even paid attention to them. But I have been using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the number three. Um, I just kind of like go in and fill in any sparse areas um not too much and i then just blend it in with this and kind of brush them however i kind of want to and then today i did not put any gel or anything like that I mean, don't get like super all over the place i don't think but sometimes i'll put this anastasia um clear brow gel on top of them to kind of like keep them where they are and so nothing smudges or anything like that um so that is what is in my make a bag. I hope you guys enjoy this and have a happy and healthy and safe new year. Uh, I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.